Resort destinations here in Michigan remain in a holding pattern and concerned they might not be able to open fully this summer. Thousands of international workers needed at the resorts have not been able to secure the necessary visas to work here in the U.S. The reason in part due to a proclamation former President Trump made restricting travel for some non-U.S. residents. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on where most of those international workers spend their summers and why getting them in place this season is so important. During a typical year, more than 30,000 international workers would begin arriving in Michigan in April and May to fill short term summer positions. This coming warm weather season is going to be a big rebound year. Travel Michigan's Dave Lorenz is confident Michigan destinations will see that big rebound in June, July and August. But he and other travel industry insiders have one lingering question. Will we be prepared with enough staff to be able to provide the experience that people have come to expect? Lorenz has been on the phone a lot recently with many of the state's large resort employers. Most need help from Washington. H-2B and J-1 visas remain in limbo. A proclamation by former President Trump remains in place restricting travel for non-U.S. workers who fill short-term seasonal positions at youth camps up to world-class destinations like the Grand Hotel. Everybody from the person serving you your drink in a bar to housekeepers, grounds folks, during a typical season, we would normally need about 300 seasonal visa workers and about a, another 100 or so student visa workers. The Grand Hotel's Doug Dean says pre-COVID, workers from 26 different countries would begin arriving at the Grand Hotel in April. It's going to be very difficult uh, to find a scenario where that happens this year. Dean and other resort managers need former President Trump's proclamation to expire. That happens March 31st. Then hopes are the Biden administration will release more seasonal visas. That's what we're all kind of waiting on is that next wave of visas to be released. Without international workers, resorts would be forced to scale back operations. Efforts to find additional domestic workers to fill the seasonal positions are only finding limited success. And complicating the situation is the fact that many U.S. embassies around the world are running limited operations and some visas require face-to-face -face interaction at a U.S. embassy. In Muskegon, John Mills, 13 on your side.